Um, I think it's a really short update. We have um, sort of prototype of what kind of UI we want. And after some discussion, the team agreed that we will split the project into sort of a more basic platform for just querying data where people can filter how much data they want by which drug and so on versus sort of more advanced um, data analytics and visualization where someone will not only receive a CSV file, but also like they can probe around the data, play with it. That is something we, the team would be doing tomorrow. Um, another thing, yeah, I think I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. And there is part of the team working on um, Django, if I'm right. Uh, to for the back end, and then this uh, rest of the team working on the front UI. Yeah. There you go. Um, can you hear me? Uh, I thought I turned it on. Okay. Um, so I can give a short update on the Django part. Um, we've set up the Django project, and right now we're still uh, working on connecting all the data from the API um, into our Django backend so that we can do the data analysis part. Um, so right now we're just experimenting with the health board mappings because that's a, a smaller file. Um, but what is working right now is just a very basic website where you can choose from a drop, drop down menu um, which area you're in, and you can select that area. Um, in the back end, it accesses the API um, and looks for the health area, uh, health board area code, and then um, the website prints the area code. So that's like our very, very basic prototype just to make sure uh, Django works and we can access the API. Um, and eventually, of course, we want to use um, that functionality to use uh, to access the prescribing um, system, makes, make the templates fancier. Um, use what the front end team has developed to uh, build fancier websites, I guess. And um, yeah, that's that. So, what's the homepage look like then? Right now, or like eventually? <laughs> now. Um, I'm not sure how I can share, but it's, it's. You haven't deployed it yet anywhere. Right now, it's running locally. Um, Okay. No, yeah. no, that you can show us that next time. You can get it deployed somewhere so you can show everybody. Oh, definitely. Tomorrow we will. No, today. Oh, today. Later. You have to push it to GitHub, right? So from GitHub, you can then yeah. push it to somewhere else. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? This is like a real use case in real time. Um, so I'm going abroad to so multiple countries. So I thought I'd look at my um, what vaccines I needed. So of course you can go onto the internet. And then you know, I went to my pharmacy and the pharmacy said, oh, here's the list of, you know, like basically a vaccine's a prescription. And But before she would permission me to, to do a tetanus booster, I had to go to get my medical record. So I had to fill in a physical form and eventually got a printout of something and now I had to fill in another form in the pharmacy. So what's your thoughts on like automating this friction from my life? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. The whole prescriptions and then the, the paper versions plus what's online and yeah. Of course, it's very want, complicated. Yeah. yeah. You want all of that automated in the end, I guess. I'm not sure how this relates to like our project now, but um, or like, I agree that it's a, uh, yeah. Do you want? <laughs> hold on, hold on. The, the first step in answering that question is you have to change the law because there are certain aspects of pharmacology legislation that require what's called a wet signature, i.e. with a pen. Uh, yeah, okay. Anything else? 
All right, so who's left? Um, mute. Chaz, right? Yep. 